If you love wildlife and in particular bird photography, then you are going to love this week's video as we get the opportunity to capture some beautiful majestic birds in flight. Plus, as usual, I'll be sharing camera settings and tips. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. This week's video is kindly sponsored by NordVPN. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. This week on the channel, something a little bit different for you guys. We are heading out for an afternoon of bird photography, more specifically, birds of prey. I'm really excited. With me this afternoon, I have Mr. Greg Sullivan. Now, Greg is well known in the Canon community. He's a professional photographer, has his own studio, Sunburst Studios, and is a bit of an expert in wildlife and bird photography. So the perfect guy to have along for the ride. What can we expect, Greg? Well, thanks, Paul. Well, today we're going to a little property around Mount Tambourine to meet with our bird handler, Mark. And I'm hoping today he'll bring for us to photograph a white-bellied sea eagle, maybe a kestrel, possibly a grey goshawk, but we never quite know what's going to turn up until we get there. I can't wait. It's going to be great. There, yeah, it will be brilliant. Okay, so let's talk camera gear. Now this afternoon, I'm gonna be using my Nikon Z6. This is a mirrorless camera, I absolutely love it. And this is a Nikon telephoto lens. This has a range of 200 to 500 millimeters. And a big shout out to Susan from Brisbane Camera Hire for hooking me up with this lens for this afternoon. Greg, what are you gonna be shooting with? Today, I've got an EOS R5 with a, a battery grip there, because I like to run double the batteries. Yep. And I'm running my favorite EOS 300mm f2.8 lens. This is a beautiful lens, really, really fancy. Now, if you would like to find out more about the gear that we're featuring in this week's video, I've created a special page on the Photo Genius website where I list everything. You'll find a link in the description below this week's video. I think that's Mark now with the birds. Fantastic, let's go. Mark is a professional and local bird handler providing birds for displays, events, TV and film. So Mark, really nice to meet you. Can you tell us a little bit about the birds we're going to see this afternoon? Yes, we've got a, a kestrel named Abby, uh, been with me for some six or eight years now. Uh, a white-bellied sea eagle named Wanda and a grey goshawk named Glenn. Fantastic. Can't wait. So first up was Abby the Kestrel, whose trick is to hover in the air, allowing us a fantastic photo opportunity. Now, because Abby needs to face into the wind, we were shooting into the sun. Now, this is not always the ideal choice when shooting on a sunny day, because the subject is backlit. With the camera metering for the sky, the result is a dark subject. Now, of course, a quick edit in Lightroom can certainly improve things, but to make this work, you need to meter for the subject. Changing the camera's meter setting to center weighted average certainly helped. Purposely overexposing gave a high key image and the best results. The sun beautifully backlighting the feathers. Changing the metering mode can be done by using the eye button if you have a Nikon camera, and this can really help when shooting in tricky light or when the subject is backlit. Now, as well as center weighted average, most cameras will also have spot metering, which is also worth a try. Now, if you're using a Canon camera, simply use the Q button. Next up, it was the turn of the mighty wonder. Now all it takes is for Mark to throw some food, for Wanda to glide effortlessly over the lake, outstretching her talons to grab the prize. An amazing sight to watch and of course an equally amazing photo opportunity.
Now I have no problem admitting that this was a hard subject to shoot. Whilst I'm fairly happy with the timing of this shot, the focus is just off. And with this type of photography, there will be and there were plenty of misses. But it was so much fun. Okay, so that was fun. So do you, uh, what was that we just shot? <laughs> so that was Wanda, the white-bellied sea eagle. A white-bellied sea eagle, um, which was a lot of fun to shoot, wasn't it? Yeah, so she doesn't have her adult plumage yet, so she's not full white. Yeah. She's sort of still a little bit brown, but still pretty big. Fantastic. And um, quite hard to, to uh, capture the moment. I mean, the moment she, um, she, she swoops in and hits the water, is, is, that's, that's the killer shot, isn't it? That's the money shot. That's the money but shot. It's all about the timing. It's well, really where hard. the talons just come out before yeah, the water the wings are outstretched usually the first time you see her you're like yeah but then the second time you want to shoot it because you're in all the first time oh yeah great yeah tell us about the focus mode you're using well basically i'm using a servo focus and i'm trying to track her in flight so what the servo focusing mode which is the canon term is tracking the subject but also focusing on her eyes mm. so it's animal detect focus detect yeah eye detect and the theory is it tracks the bird in and then out as well. Fantastic. So I just keep my finger on the rear AF button the whole way, yep. keep my focusing squares on the bird yep. and just shoot. So Greg's using back button focus. Um, I've got back button focus set up as well. Um, I was using Nikon's equivalent, which is AFC, auto focus continuous. I really struggled, I've got to be honest. I think, I think uh, Greg's nailed these ones, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really good. Yep. And we'll get to do it again. We'll do it another time. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I'd now like to welcome Glenn. He is the very first captive bred grey goshawk in Queensland. And of course, the very next bird in line for us to photograph. So coming up next, we're going to take pictures of Rocky the bar now. None of this would have been possible without the support of our sponsor. So please let me take a moment to tell you all about NordVPN. A VPN is a service that protects you, your data and your privacy online by encrypting your internet traffic and hiding your IP address, keeping you safe from cyber threats and harmful websites. NordVPN has over 500 servers in 60 countries, so using the app, I can easily select any server I like in any location. Having the ability to work remotely safely is really important to me, so no matter where I am in the office, studio or on location, I know I can work in confidence knowing that NordVPN is keeping me and my data safe. So why not give it a go with three plans to choose from plus Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So to keep your connection, passwords, data and files safe, simply use the link below this video and the promo code PHOTOGENIUS to get a two year plan plus four months for free. And a big thank you to NordVPN for supporting the PHOTOGENIUS channel. So now we are into the golden hour, the sun is setting and just as we were about to pack up, Mark had a surprise for us. Beautiful Rocky the Barn Owl, the ideal subject for some static portrait shots under perfect soft light and a great way to wrap up what has been an amazing afternoon of photography. For my final shots of the day I swapped the telephoto lens for my 85mm prime to soften the foreground and background. This image I was really happy with. Now don't forget there is a dedicated page on the PhotoGenius website that lists all the gear used in this video, as well as a roundup of tips and recommended camera settings. You'll find a link in the description below this video. Now if you enjoyed this week's video, please hit the like button to give it a thumbs up and of course consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.